Hello, I've got a leaf blower I'm working on today, uh, given to me by a crazy lady. I'm just kidding. I'm saying that because hopefully she'll watch this and think it's funny. Anyway, a friend of mine has a leaf blower that's not working. It's a craftsman. We're going to check it out. So here it is, little craftsman, two stroke, uh, 40 to one. And she said what it's doing, it'll start just fine and then squeeze the trigger and it will bog down and die. Okay, pump it up. Let's start this thing. So on the carburetor here, when it does that, it's this side should be adjusted. I'm going to turn it a little bit counterclockwise. Um, see if that makes, makes a difference there. I stole an idea from a gentleman on YouTube. He took one of these little electrical butt connectors or butt splicers, whatever you want to call them. And he first pounds it onto like a, a hex head, whatever it's going to fit onto, find the right size. But it actually, you know, it goes right in there. So what I did was I pounded it onto that piece first and then I wedged it in here and banged on it carefully with my hammer and it put it on there just enough so that I could make it make it turn around there a little bit I just tested it, it sounded a little better I think I'm going to turn it a little bit more so that we can get a little more power out of it and see if see if that helps so take a butt splice In this case, the blue one worked. I used the S3 square bit um, out of a Black & Decker multi-pack. Sure, some of you have those. But yeah, this, you can tap it right on to that little D-shaped control. And instead of going out and buying them if you don't often work on this stuff, when you gently set it on there and tap it the the plastic is pliable enough to bend to the shape it needs and it grips it tight enough where then you just put you know the screwdriver on there and turn it a little bit and you go counterclockwise if that's what's happening to you where it's bogging down so uh let me show you what it sounds like now So if you do have those tools, it's that it's the D-shaped tool. Um, I know there's, there's like a splined and a C-shape and a D-shape. So you can you can get those kits also on Amazon. Just look up like chainsaw carb tool, and they they have like you know 15 or 20 in a pack. You can get every single kind that you ever were going to need to use. So I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.